Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here from Dark Edges. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Nexus 7. First of all, the Nexus 7 is priced at $200 for the 8GB model and $249 for the 16GB model. The device sports a 1280 by 800 pixel IPS display which gives you text and graphics that look sharper than most 7-inch tablets. The Nexus 7 has a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera sitting in the middle of the top bezel. On the top right edge is the power and lock button, closely followed by the volume rocker. I would have liked the volume rocker and the power and lock button to be a bit more separated since sometimes when watching videos I would click that instead of the volume rocker by mistake, but you get used to it after a while. On the bottom we have the headphone jack along with a micro USB port. Right above that on the back we have a 2 inch long horizontal speaker slit that gives fairly loud and full sound without much distortion even at maximum volume. Lastly we have the grippy rubbery and somewhat leathery back texture with both Nexus and Asus embossed on it. The back texture is one of my favorite parts of the tablet since it makes it very comfortable to hold and pretty much makes it one of the most comfortable tablets I've ever held. Now remember this has a $200 price tag which means sacrifices, in this case it included no memory expansion, no HDMI out, and no back camera. So if you're in the market for a tablet with HDMI out and a back camera, this is not the tablet for you. But that said, with a $200 price tag, you can't really ask for much. The Nexus 7 has a beveled bottom and painted silver trim that actually makes it look sleeker than the Kindle Fire. When I first held the tablet, I thought it was much thinner than the Kindle Fire, and it is, but only by 0.04 inches. When you hold the tablet in portrait, the right and left side bezels of the tablet are thin but still thick enough to rest your thumbs without touching the screen and accidentally tapping something, while the top and bottom are thicker than what is usually found on 7 inch tablets, although the thicker bezel might come in handy for some depending on the way they like to hold the tablet. The screen is incredibly responsive to touch and swipe but could possibly use a bit more sensitivity calibration as some swipes don't fully register. But that's not really a problem since Google can just update that at any time. The Nexus 7 is the first device to ship with Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. The Nexus 7 OS was tweaked a bit and changes the way the home screen now works. It works pretty much the same as it does on every other Android tablet, allowing you to customize a home screen however you'd like, but now if you turn the tablet to landscape mode, the screen won't rotate. It rotates fine in apps, but as soon as you tap the home button, you're back into portrait mode. I personally think it's better since the landscape would make everything look a bit messy and off since it's a 7 inch tablet. On the home screen we have a widget which displays the content you have on your device or cloud which can be deleted or resized. At the bottom we have a dock which comes filled with Google apps like Play, Music, Books, and Magazines. There's also a folder with Google Maps, Google+, Gmail, and Chrome which is now the default browser and also has several other Google services. In the middle of the dock we have the apps button which just takes you to all the apps that you have and if you swipe up from the home button and across the apps button you are taken to Google Now which is Google's new personalized helper which displays information like the current weather, local bus schedules, and nearby restaurants that you may be interested in. There's also voice recognition that allows you to search the web with your voice. It's not an assistant like Siri, for example it won't remind you to pick up your kids from school when you leave work but it will recognize phrases like when is the next Giants game and return an answer via voice response as well as a graphic showing the time and who they are playing. You can also ask it things like where can I get food in Austin and it replies with a Google Maps listing of places you can get food at in your desired location. You can also say something like show me pictures of dogs and it's going to deliver a gallery full of dogs or what's the weather in Austin, Texas and it's going to reply with voice of what the weather in Austin, Texas degrees. is. In Austin, These features are the somewhat useful on Wi-Fi, but would be much better if you use them on something like the Galaxy Nexus, since you're not going to be carrying this around everywhere you go, especially since there's not Wi-Fi everywhere. But this really becomes over time something like Siri on iOS, where you won't really use it all that much, but you have it there just in case you ever need it. The Nexus 7 is a great media device, especially having apps like Netflix, Spotify, etc. You're going to have a lot of content to stream and uh, watch. And recently Google added movies and TV shows which can be purchased through Play. The content purchased will stream from Play by default, but if you want it stored locally, you're going to have to manually download it. Is the Nexus 7 an iPad killer? No, it's not. And one of the major things it lacks is the large selection of apps that the iPad has going for itself but this is a huge step in the right direction. Hopefully this is a model for other companies to follow and people will start making tablets that resemble the Nexus 7. 
Overall, Google is off to an amazing start here. The tablet feels well built and does a good job of demonstrating its power when playing games and movies. The battery has great life, lasting about two days of regular use. The tablet screen looks great and feels responsive, and let's not forget it has pretty impressive specs. Android 4.1 also adds to the mix because it makes the Nexus 7 feel simple yet fluid and customizable, and with the addition of the TV shows and purchasable movies to the Play Store, it gives you even more content to stream and clearly makes the Nexus 7 the best 7-inch $200 tablet available in the market today.